Hi there, welcome to the Happy Chicken Coop YouTube channel. Please be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also be sure to share the channel. That's how we continue to grow our YouTube channel following. We're going to be talking about the Plymouth Rock Chicken and everything you need to know before deciding to get one and if it's the best option for your flock. Before we get into that, also be sure to subscribe to our website, thehappychickencoop.com. All right, without further ado, Let's get into it. So the Plymouth Rock chicken is one of America's oldest breeds. The hen was seen from coast to coast before the end of World War II, and it became the nation's main source of chicken meat and eggs. Now this chicken is a dual purpose hen, and it's excelled in good quality meat production and good egg production. And the only hen that really could rival it at the time was the Rhode Island Red. Almost everyone used to keep them, and it was encouraged by the government as the troops needed food to fight across the seas and for the home front. They were encouraged and embraced by thousands of people during this time but sadly after they finished the war the chicken industry became highly mechanized like so many other breeds the plymouth rock was cast aside as not productive enough so in this article we'll discuss everything you need to know about the plymouth rock chicken including the egg laying ability how to care for them and some other characteristics that they have plymouth rocks are very respectable egg layers of large brown eggs they average around 200 eggs per year which equates to roughly four eggs per week they lay well for the first couple Couple of years but around year three a slow decline in productivity starts however hens have been known to lay in their 10th year in terms of broodiness they aren't really known for it but it can be actively encouraged in this breed with the hens usually being good sitters and great moms the chicks are quick to feather out and mature and by 8 to 12 weeks of age they can be considered broilers if decided in terms of temperament plymouth rocks are mellow birds they're not known for bad attitudes or picking at flock mates and they seem to get along with everyone they're they're also described by their owners as sweet, calm, and docile, even the roosters. Plymouth rocks are always curious and they love to check out their environment and follow you around to see what you're up to or if you have any treats. Let's talk about the health concerns as far as this breed. Plymouth rocks are pretty healthy and sturdy. They're not bothered by particular ailments except the usual array of parasites. The roosters do have large combs and wattles, so they may need some attention to those areas in cold weather. They have a good gene pool, so they're usually healthy long-lived birds that can live for 10 to 12 years if cared for exceptional birds have lived up to 20 years so let's talk about the different types of plymouth rock so the barred plymouth rock breed was admitted to the american poultry association in 1874 currently there are seven accepted varieties the varieties of the plymouth rock recognized in the u.s are barred blue buff colombian partridge silver penciled and white and all are rare except the barred and the white plymouth rock the apa the american poultry association classifies the breed as american while the pcgb classifies it as a soft feather and heavy let's talk about the appearance of the plymouth rock chicken. So if you ask most folks what a Plymouth Rocks hen's plumage look like, they would say black and white bars would be correct and which would be correct as far as that as it goes. The barring between the sexes is slightly different. The males have equal black and white barring in which each feather ending in a dark tip. Whereas females have black bars that are slightly wider than the white bars, this can sometimes give them a slightly darker grayish hue than the boys. There are several other varieties in the Plymouth Rock family, as I noted earlier. So with all this being considered, is the Plymouth Rock chicken right for you? If you're looking for a breed that is suitable for a family setting, this could be your bird. The barred rocks are known for being friendly towards children as well as adults. Due to their friendliness, they do have a possibility of becoming lap chickens. They are poor flyers, so you don't really need to have a huge fence around the enclosure to keep them in as they are unlikely to go and investigate neighbor's yard unless they can walk there. Speaking of neighbors, the barred rock is also said to be a quiet but talkative chicken, if that's possible. Of course, it does have the usual chicken vocabulary, including the egg song, but the barred rock tends to whisper rather than shout across the yard. They are very easy going and they're not difficult to care for. Like I said, they're healthy, sturdy breeds, making them a great choice for first-time chicken owners. Plymouth rocks are very tolerant of poor management practices, although ideally they won't need to be. If treated and cared for, for well, they can virtually raise themselves. Their mellow temperament also makes them a good choice for H projects and the exhibition arena where they usually do very well. So in summary, let's talk about what we just discussed. The Bard Rock has a long and distinguished history, even though the origins are a bit murky. After the Second War, 
The Bard Rock declined in popularity. The breed made the American Livestock Breed Conservancy list. The ALBC still has it currently listed as recovering. The recovery is likely due to the renewed interest in backyard chickens, especially dual purpose breed, which a Plymouth Rock is and can fit well in almost any circumstance. So today's Bard Rock hens can be divided into three separate groups, exhibition, industrial and old dual purpose they're also great egg laying chickens and they are pretty healthy chickens and they're pretty sturdy so they do very well in climates or environments where there's not too much supervision they tolerate confinement or free ranging they do not require any special treatment and they're also friendly so they're great for families so with that all being said, what more could you ask of your chickens? Well, that's gonna do it for us here at the Happy Chicken Coop YouTube channel. Thanks for listening today. Please be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also be sure to subscribe to our website, thehappychickencoop.com. With that, I hope you have a great rest of your day and we'll talk to you soon.